So welcome to this continuation of the Animator's Journey podcast episode with Prashant Cavalier. We are going to take a look at one of his Boss Baby 2 shots. If you want to listen to the conversation we've had up to this point, check out the Animator's Journey podcast. Again, thanks for continuing to be with me and, and share all of your knowledge here, and I'll let you take it away. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I'm going to be sharing you a progression of a section of shots from Boss Baby 2. So I don't know how many of you have watched the movie, but this is a part where Armstrong, that's this evil baby genius or whatever, he's kind of taking Boss through his, um, his empire or whatever he's built. He's basically trained babies to be able to code and to write apps and stuff like that. And Boss is like bamboozled by, you know, all of this. And he's like, you know, wow, this is how you make millions. And he looks to him and says, not millions, it's billions. But some things are more important than money. So that's kind of the gist of what's going to happen in this. I'd like to play the layout. The reason I'm playing layout is because uh, this is what we get from the layout department. It's not what we animators do. It's like uh, a, a rough version. I mean, it's a proxy version of these characters. And it tends to look a little funny, but it has the main story beat. It's like the basis for our ideas. You know, it's what we base uh, our blocking out of. So let me just play this. Uh, yep. Okay, Brilliant. awesome. So let's just play a couple yeah, of times. Some things are more important than money. Oh. <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. So that's kind of the layout pass. Uh, you see that they're traveling this kind of a pod, and then there's a lot going on. Like you know, he has he has these popsicles, and he's uh, you know probably finishing up an ice cream, licking it out of the bowl, and then separates the popsicles and then puts one into boxes. So. A bunch of things happening. Uh, <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. So uh, that's the layout boss. So then uh, I uh, have a quick question just sure. for because there's two, there's an edit here. Is there, are there handles or are there extra frames or is that edit totally locked and you're not going to animate any more than what you're seeing in this current? Yeah, it's edit? locked. Okay. It's locked. Wow. It's usually a frame plus or minus. Like usually, uh, uh, it's we they, they usually cut off a frame at the end and the beginning of each shot. Promotion blur or something. Yeah, kind of remember it to be that way, but yeah, uh, yeah but that's how it is. Like it's like a, a hard edit. If you see the layout, you'll see that there are quite a few things happening in this. So you'll see oh. that uh, <laughs> billions. He's communicating all of what he's what he has yeah, to say. Right. But at the same time, he's like you know licking the bowel, throwing it back, and then he's reaching out for the popsicles, and then. And then separating them, putting it in must. So, um, yeah, as animators, uh, we first of all ask ourselves a question as to how is it that I can simplify this whole thing? Because you know, you have him going back, going forward, going back, going forward, and all that stuff. So that's the first thing that hit me. Like, you know, how is it that I can simplify this? And at the same time, I'll make sure that you know you can clearly see him prominently on on uh, on screen space, looking at boss and really um, you know emoting or whatever, uh, saying whatever he's saying. Boss basically is like, you know, there's not much happening with Brilliant. Boss Baby. Brilliant. He's supposed to be like this wonderstruck, like, you know, and I just had this idea, like, you know, just have him stuff the, the popsicle and he just has no reaction whatsoever. He's like, like with his eyes wide open. And then this part is where he's like, you know, high handed, like, you know, hmm, some things are more important than money. Like just, show, just showing him who's the boss. So I'm going to play you the blocking pass of this. So you'll see that I kind of went towards uh, simplifying the beats in a way. And my blocking, like I mentioned, like, you know, it's not step the same time. It's not fleshed out blocking. I've used copied pairs right through this. Uh, but let's just play it a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. That's, that's blocking. Uh, <laughs> Billions. Yeah, that's... Billions. I don't know, for yeah, me, that does look like super far along. <laughs> so, uh, well, I mean, that's something that, I mean, I could say that it's a part of uh, my workflow in a way that I try to get as far as I can with my blocking. I try to get to the 50% mark or maybe even try to see if I can go in further because I want to utilize the time, the rest of the time to see how far, how further I can push my shot as opposed to showing 20% initially and then, you know, taking that time to go uh, further, so I sometimes tend to put as much as much as I have in my mind into my blocking, at the risk of even it being scrapped. Because you know, I just uh, kind of back myself sometimes when I block. <laughs> I go further in certain places. Also, I believe that uh, we, um, 
I, 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 you know, I come from the school of thought where you block to really impress than actually leaving it open for discussion. I mean, of course, I'm open for discussion for sure, but then you really want to hit that mark right away. Like, you know, you want to want it to be open entertaining. For interpretation. They're not having to fill in the gaps. Like it's everything's everything's exactly. very clearly there. Yeah, exactly. I would like to be as clear as possible with my blocking. So that's something I try to go for. So uh, my blocking has got, uh, again, it's, it's, of course, you might, you might say that there's a lot of uh, details in it, but then it's basically just holding keys here and there. And, you know, in places like these, I'm just basically having the shoulder go up and down. And then I'm having a, an, a rough idea of what needs to happen with his face. You'll see that there is some squash and stretch, but the very, very indicative. And, you know, this whole thing of him going forward again, it's like, you know, very pose to pose. Um, and again, you'll see boss, he's like bamboozled, there's not much happening to him. That's kind of how I wanted, wanted to play him. But you'll see that it changes a little bit. And then these are like stupid things that uh, the way he licks his popsicle is something that I was inspired by what my daughter does. It's not the real, like the broad way that, uh, but then I thought it would be something funny that, you know, to, uh, try to try out something like this. Um, and then, you know, he sits in this authoritative position. I thought that's kind of going to sell his command and the way it's going to work out. Some things are more important. And, you know, this whole one leg on top of the other kind of an idea. But when Tom, Tom McGrath, uh, the director of the show, saw this, he was like, uh, this looks good, but uh, he needs to be high on sugar. So uh, that's kind of a broad stroke note that we get. So you get to sprinkle your ideas and you know where, what you want to do is left to you. As in, you get to decide that with your soup and your hookup. If you have doubts, you can check with them and hey, have a talk. Hey, I'm uh, thinking I do this here or there. Or if you're really sure what you want to do, just go ahead, do it and show it. Um, but the broad start no, no was that he, was, he needs to be high on sugar. So that kind of got me thinking. So he says, uh, you know, there should be a lot of energy in the way he goes back and the way he leans forward. So um, I'm going to play you my Anim pass and you'll see a big jump between blocking and Anim. Oh. <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. So you'll see that he's like a little more bouncy and full of energy. Uh, I kind of really went for it, this whole stretchy thing with this licking, like, you know, really pushing his expression and, you know, having his eyes go up and his mouth stretch as he licks it. And then uh, there's a lot of squash and stretch happening as he laughs. And I kind of layered it over uh, him settling into this. And this whole idea of having the popsicle come from, you know, from where his legs are and his legs bring up the popsicle gave me this... Uh, this room to have him like you know on in the center of screen space and he's not doing too much of back and forth um and then it's like you know easy for him to just pull them apart and then you'll see a lot of details in squash and stretch on his face and oh, yeah. yeah but some and over here again like you know the legs you know, this, are great. Yeah, the traditional squash and stretch and you know he's he's leaning with his head and then he shoots up in the air and then also utilize the opportunity to, you know, he, he's sitting more like a baby now. And that's another note that I got because, you know, he felt that he was too adult. So make him more like a baby. So, you know, he sits more like a baby. And then even the way he comes forward is a lot more pushed than what it was because, you know, it was being gentle. So I love uh, the, the point isn't on the line. You know, you the point came before the line was, yeah, was yeah. nice, you know. That's something that, I don't know, again, it's something that I consciously do at times because I hate putting accents where the accent is. Like, you know, I just hate doing In that. the dialogue, yeah, everything. Yeah, like it's this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it tends to get boring after a while. Like, you know, you would do that, like, but then uh, I always keep asking myself, is there a way I can break that and try something else? So, um, Billions. so that's Billions. my Anand Boss. Yeah, some things are more important than mine. I'm going to play you the, the final animation. And uh, this is a, a DR. I mean, it's it's probably a, a version where you see the textures of the, of the cloth. You know, stuff mm. more. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. Or I guess this was with the tech, tech animation, I think. This is with CFX. Then you see his um, code reacting to... You know, it's flapping down as, as he settles. So I'm pretty sure this is the tech animation. 
So yeah, that's my fine line an animation with tech and, you know, just adding a lot of um, small things. Basically, polish is all about, uh, I mean, I would say at least it's kind of transitioned to being more of a frame by frame thing for me, like, you know, seeing if all the shapes work fine. I mean, this guy, um, we were very particular about his uh, mouth shapes, like, you know, this W kind of a shape. Uh, we made sure that it would stick out. So we were at points like these, we were really pulling his uh, up lip out so that it sticks out and you get that kind of a silhouette. And you see that all over here. Um, so yeah, really fleshing out the lip sync and seeing if it works with the squishiness of the mouth. Um, I don't know. I mean, if there's anything was else. the yeah was I have a question about the uh, so okay, at, at the beginning you mentioned you know the the popsicle in the mouth you wanted that to be the wide eyed moment and it's kind of at the at this polishy stage they started like kind of sucking on the popsicle was that did that come out of the polishing pass or was that a note you got to have them be more active or how did how did adding that come into the uh, when he's when he's sucking the popsicle is that the, when the baby uh sorry the screen left character right now oh well, after, this one yeah in yeah. this moment after it goes in the mouth now they're starting to eat it a little bit did that come through the polishing phase or was that a note you got about them or yeah how? yeah it's kind of uh well i mean so basically he says uh oh, yeah. he says billions and it's that's the popsicle reacting to his mouth saying billions that's boss baby so he says billions there so oh he's saying billions gotcha yeah. sorry sorry yeah, yeah it's yeah. hard I'm, I'm like so focused on the animation i'm not even really listening to the audio <laughs> no problem no problem yeah i mean it, it happens i mean there's so many things happening uh yeah that's kind of one of my complaints <laughs> i no, would say no. uh, but plus baby I, but... that i'm i'm so drawn into the animation i'm not paying attention to the audio is my <laughs> okay yeah yeah gotcha gotcha uh, okay but yeah there, there are too many things happening um uh, yeah. i mean in these shots like so many ideas like you know so many things to see and but i think that's why it's so entertaining because it's like i don't, I don't want to call it like a gag but like they're like every there's just like a you know the foot with the popsicle and the you know sticking in his mouth and then how he sits back everything is just so entertaining and appealing and it's just like it's it keeps hitting you and you keeps you so entertained it's so that's why i'm just like been grinning this whole time it's such it's such a fun <laughs> shot and sequence thank you uh but yeah that that kind of kind of can get a little uh in your way i would say sometimes when it when you have to focus on some yeah, of the main that seems like a lot to juggle Sometimes, yeah, it kind of, you know, you don't know where to look at at times and too many things happening. I would like to keep it simple, but, you know, since all of these were a part of the narrative, I have to incorporate that. Um, but I think it plays pretty well overall. No, it's amazing. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of my process. I mean, the final result of, you know, how it plays in the movie is... Uh, oh. <laughs> Billions. Billions. Yeah, but some things are more important than money. Can it's got all of the other that's stuff. A, can you frame by frame when he pulls the popsicle apart and his sure. head, what his head does? I'm just wondering to see because it's it's so nice and snappy. Like that, how how his whole body reacts to his hands coming. That's so fun. And how oh, thank you. yeah, how sharp that is. It's like oh yeah, I mean it, it's Again, like it's the it's the it's the style of the show. I would say, like you know, yeah. most of it is derived from everything that I saw people doing in the show, and it kind of gets ingrained into you subconsciously. You start to do stuff, um, and you know, even stuff like uh, I think it's not very really clear in this version, but if I pull up my final animation again, um, so I'm, I'm I'm doing this one frame transition where his elbow like really sticks out. Yeah, yeah, and we then the, that's kind of yeah. That's kind of around the place where his and his hands eventually end up. So just trying to make sure that you know you you leave little for motion blur and kind of try to get that with you. Um, it's it's super fun. I mean, it's it's cartoony at the same time. It's entertaining. So I, I really like the style of the show. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of <laughs> I don't know how uh, informative it was, but um, no, it's so great. I I definitely learned a lot. I mean, just from seeing how far you take the blocking, and it makes sense based on how you want the shot to go. And coming from VFX, you know, we have the handles, you know, eight or nine frames. And if you're working on an action sequence, 
you could be animating right. just as much in the handles as you are in there. <laughs> What's going to make it in the movie? I remember so, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. So it was really cool to see. I really appreciate you sharing this. And, um, that was very informative. Thank you. Sure. Sure. My pleasure. I mean, I completely can relate to you when you say that about VFX because, uh, there were shots in Mowgli where I was doing the same, like the shot length was shorter than actually the handles that I was animating. And it was like, it felt strange and funny. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I worked uh, so long on this. This was like, you know, a couple <laughs> months of work. And then it's like, boom, 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 boom. Like, oh, yeah. it was like those seconds. Did you see those four seconds? That was me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It kind of ended up being that way because, you know, I did the shots with uh, Baloo and Bagheera fighting. And then they had this huge fight. And then, and then he smashed, I mean, he smashed us into the branch of a tree or something. Um, so, yeah, that portion. Uh, and there were some cuts in between as well, like super tight. Yeah. And thank you so much. I, I want to be respectful of your time. Um, this has been awesome. Yeah. So anyone who's made it this far, there's a whole podcast episode of us having a great conversation and learning even more about Prashant's whole animator's journey. And hopefully you, all of this will rub off on all of us that will hopefully get some of this magic that he creates. So um, again, thanks for sharing this. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thanks for your kind words.